According to the internet, January is Brain Teaser Month, so I've come here to the Guildhall in Norwich for a very special edition, just for us, of History Mystery, the way to do escape rooms and escape games which are so, so popular. But I'm not on my own. Part of my team, uh, I understand, is a mustard mastermind. So, who have I got to help me escape? You all right, Dad? Is this uh, what we're filming today? For God's sake. What? Oh. The history mystery here is our spin on escape rooms. We decided let's start playing off these lovely historical buildings. Our real murder was, uh, took place in Victorian Norwich, absolutely shocked the city at the time. Uh, it was a case that lay, laid unsolved for, for a long time. So we are going to place you guys in the actual cell itself where the murder took place. She is actually buried under the floor here, the victim itself. And it's your job to work together to try and figure out who the victim was in this case. This coin was first minted in the year of Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee. He just told us a year. Did, did yeah, that was the year that person was. So that's not important. I don't know. But I guess we need to find a coin that was first. Maybe somewhere around here there's a coin, right? Maybe. Oh! Missing woman, Victorian. It's not a coin. <laughs> Come on, focus. <laughs> it's not a coin, you're right. Nothing in that. Ooh! Ooh. Yes! Oh. I am 100% Sherlock. Yeah, Holmes. Watson. Oh, that's really oh, good! Oh, that's really good! <laughs> yes! Clues are a big part of these games. So we actually watch you and we can hear how you're getting on and we offer up clues every now and again. It gets you thinking the right way or perhaps it points you back towards an item that you might have overlooked and is really necessary for continuing. So 1837 plus 50 is 1887. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Cannot believe it. Right, I'm going in. So we solved in no time. There's a key there. But here we go. I'll look after the key. Okay, got the secret. Suspect. <laughs> Very good. Thomas Dent. Wool sorter. So does that key open something? Wool sorter. Is there anything woolly? I don't know. Do you just want to try every lock you see? I'm going to look in here. What is this? Oh, hang on. I don't know what that does. Do you see anything? Oh, did you know that was there? Yeah, but I'm not sure if it's relevant. <laughs> you, you, you saw a clue and just ignored it, right? Well, no, because I knew it was there still. Unbelievable. Communication, absolutely key with these games. So you don't have to be a genius, you don't have to know, uh, be a maths genius at all. Uh, it's all about how well you work together as a team. Uh, you might uh, not spot something which somebody else spots. If Helen Max wigs are in there, I won't be happy. Or Darren's hairspray. Yeah, good point. Let's have a Flammable. Look. Yeah, exactly. Hold that. Thank you. Okay, I've got that. I'll put that up there. Ooh. Ooh. Something's in the rugs. Get the rugs out. Isn't this woolen? Oh, it might be. Is that something to do with that last one? There might be something in there. It's not, but it's a lovely throw. Wouldn't this look good in your new flat? Escape rooms are by no means a new idea. They've actually been around for, for about a decade or so now, and they originally started off online. So that got us into there, 1856. But we've not used anything with this. Maybe that was the wall, was the clue to get you over to there from... Why? Because it, it says blankets on the top. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> My favourite games are the cross-generational games, where we have grandparents down to the grandkids all coming in and chipping in in some different way. Uh, the kid will spot something completely different than the rest of the adults do. And so it's a perfect thing for friends and family, and you don't need to know any previous knowledge. Our history angle is just to, to, to do with the storytelling element. Four, five, five, six, four, yes! Jake! Mate! Another one, a victim! Right. Lily Bullen. Fantastic stuff, guys. You've solved the murder. You've uh, found out who the victim is. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Without a single clue. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. And for winning, get yourself some History of Mystery winners badges. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so stuff, much. Guys. Well done. Absolute naturals to escape gaming. Amazing! Sherlock and Watson. Nailed it.